My research program is focused on understanding the circadian clock and how it works. Our circadian clock is uh, the thing in our brain that keeps track of time and organizes all the daily rhythms that we engage in, whether it's uh, when we get hungry, when we wake up in the morning, when we get tired at night. So the reason we're studying circadian rhythms is to try to help people uh, who are working either shift work or people who travel across time zones um, and suffer from jet lag. For people who travel across time zones rapidly, like uh, um, airline pilots, uh, these people are constantly in a state of uh, circadian desynchrony and their body really never knows what time zone they're in. And this can lead to uh, problems with concentration, which is not good when you're trying to land a, a jet. If we can find a way of rapidly adjusting our, the phase of our circadian clock, we can help people at least not be fighting their circadian clock when they're working these odd shifts or arrive at a new time zone. What this will do is decrease on-the-job accidents. Also, this will help uh, decrease disease. A lot of diseases uh, like cancer, and diabetes, cardiovascular disease have been linked to rotating shift work cycles. Here in red and green, these are the cells that get input from the eye that tell the circadian clock if it's daytime or nighttime. In blue, we've got the cells that actually tick and keep track of time, and they need to know. In neuroscience, we use a lot of techniques, and in my lab, uh, we range all the way from studying behavior um, all the way down to looking at individual cells. So there's a, there's a large number of techniques that we use. So how's it going? It's going pretty well. Excellent. I see you right at the beginning of the hypothalamus there. Do a few more slices, about another millimeter, and you'll be at the SCN. In my lab, we have a number of undergraduates and graduate students working uh, on research questions. Um, a good background in research techniques is really important. Um, so undergraduates who can gain some uh, research experience during their summers are the kind of people that we love to recruit. When students come into my lab to work, the activities they might engage in could involve uh, histology, where they're slicing tissue and actually staining it for uh, various uh, proteins or, or genes that are being expressed. They might be uh, doing some uh, surgical interventions so that we can look at how drugs uh, work inside the brain, some behavioral work. Uh, there's a lot of microscope work where the students will be examining the tissue that they've prepared, uh, looking at uh, the different genes that are expressed in various specific cells that are involved in regulating circadian rhythms. My research program and my graduate students are funded by the Natural Sciences and Engineering Research Council of Canada, and students that study in chronobiology should be able to get jobs either in industry or medical research trying to understand how cyclical nature of diseases might influence the way that you diagnose them and treat them.